Right, hello everyone. Uh, back again for episode two. Uh, I'm going to try my best to stick to this series. Um, this is just an episode just saying what I've added. Um, I have added a hell of a lot. I will put. I will explain what's in here. But um, yeah, this is just a video about adding new stuff in. Um, how you go about it and stuff like that. So let's get the lid off. There you go. If you haven't seen the last episode, this is my big bioactive ecosystem community. I've nicknamed it the Bioactive Hut, and I will be putting a label on the side. But yeah, let's get to it. <clears throat> As you can see, there's probably a lot more than what there was. Um, I've got this. Also, we have a new... Uh, he's basically... I think it's a female. Uh, I'm not sure on how to sex them. But I know there's something to do with the seventh segment, the stumpy legs, if it's a male. But I can't see that. Uh, it's just a young African black train millipede. He's living alongside... I say he because I'm used to calling him he, but even though probably a she. But um, yeah, he's, he's been living alongside all the others since um, yesterday. Uh, I added this today. Not very natural, but I'm going to be adding some more and I'll talk you through. So what we've got in here, guys, we've got... Um, <clears throat> sorry about that. Uh, we've got some orange wood lice, giant orange wood lice. We've even got some uh, tropical wood lice. To live alongside the uh, normal wood lice. Um, I am adding to it uh, quite a lot. Uh, this is obviously where the hide. I've got a... Um, there's a big wood lice. Uh, there's a, that's just uh, off a scaffolding platform. Um, there's a worm under there. Oh shit, sorry. Sorry, you can't see. Yeah, they're all living under there at the moment. I mean, they're scattered all over the place. Um... But yeah guys, I, I am adding stuff to it, uh, I will be adding in this video. I'm going to add these to it and take that cardboard out because it's a bit more natural with this, I suppose. But um, at the same time, obviously when I go to keep the humidity up, I will be lifting it up and giving it a spray quite often. But um, I have named the millipede Titus, purely because he's king. Um, what I'm going to do is something like that, just as extra cover, and you never know, they might even sit on it. So, I'm going to get my spray bottle. Uh, oh, you're holding it for me. Thank you. Shut up. Right, there we go. <clears throat> Obviously, I want it quite damp, because I don't like dry. All the stuff in here prefers damp. So, I'm just going to drench it a bit. The water will drain off and if don't worry about mould either because I'm sure the wood lice and the worms and whatever else is in here will eat it. Um, but yeah I think that'll do. Um, I'm, I don't know whether to spray the other side or actually I can just flip it over. So I'm going to just flip it over and then put that like that. So that, that's just as extra cover it. it Obviously, they've they've got no rocks in there or anything. They've literally just got a pile of dead leaves and rotting wood. Whereas now I can easily, because obviously they hide away under all the stuff. Um, ideally, when I'm checking on the <coughs> um, breeding uh, speed, I want to be able to just see them. Uh, we've got a dead one down here, but I'm sure the others will take care of that. It'll just rot away if they don't eat it. And then... Titus is here. So, I will be getting more millipedes, not just African black trains. I'm looking to add another millipede on Monday. So, you should have someone else in there. Hopefully, it'll be a male and a female so I can get babies. But, um, yeah, these, these millipedes, they just live off what the wood lice eat and stuff. Um, they're, they're more natural. There we go, he's come out. Um, he'll probably go under the wood now, but <clears throat> he's got a cut of fish bone, uh, purely just for calcium. Um, I have got some hissing cockroaches that I am, I've got um, five males and one female that um, are in a separate enclosure. And as they start breeding, I will put the babies in here because they do like the humidity. So 
so it's gone straight to the wood it's not fully grown uh, they do reach about oh, about 24 inch um, I could be wrong I'm not good with measurements but they do from about your elbow to your fingertip as adults uh, you can hear him rustling about um, if I can I'll add some pictures because um, obviously I'll have to do all the editing on my phone there's a joint orange they came through the post today if you want to get some of them and you're in the UK go to North, um, Northampton Reptile Centre and they will sort you out I mean they only cost me £2 summer and with delivery it was uh, just over £5 but um, yeah um, this is just to show you what's going on this plant I don't know what it is it come with the moss but that seems to have sprouted up really well uh, could just be a weed but again it's more natural it's what they'd have in the wild and Toitus has vanished under here but I mean I've got I want to add a load more in uh, get some springtails in if there aren't any already you can just see movement under there um, but yeah I'll, I'll add some pictures if I can um, I can't promise anything but um, I'll need to drop my phone uh, they've still got their potato um, I've noticed there's one right down here in the corner you can just see it down there um, there's a big hole in it so whether that's Titus or the wood lice I don't know um, I've noticed a few spiders living in here um, obviously they'll probably die off but it'll be good if they do survive because in the summer obviously we're going to get fruit flies and they will help keep that down but um, yeah guys that was episode 2 um, I hope you enjoyed uh, if you do have any questions just leave them in the comments and I'll see you in the next one